Today we're looking at the match function in Microsoft Excel. The match function allows you to take a look up values such as text or a number and find its position in a column of data. And so for example, here we have the student name Benjamin and we want to return the row number within this range where Benjamin appears. So let's go ahead and open up this formula and look at the syntax. So equals match and left open parentheses. And then we can see the parameters that we have. The first is lookup value. And so in this case, this would be the student name we want to find. So we'll click on that. Next is the lookup array. And so this is going to be the column where we're going to look for that student name in. And in this case, it will be this first name column over here. And then finally, we have match type. And so match type, we have several different options. So in case of text, you pretty much always want to use zero, which is exact match. And then one is less than and negative one is greater than. So let's go ahead and use zero for now and close our formula and it returns two. So Benjamin is in position two in this array. So if we look here, Benjamin is in number one, number two. All right, so next let's look at if we have multiple results. And so if we select Ethan, you can see it returns three. So one, two, three returns the first result in our array. And so in our match function, we had our zero, which was exact match. So what we can do is a one, and this will actually return the last result. So one, two, three, four, five. So returning the last result in that column. So next, let's look at a partial match. Let's say you want to search by last name. And you remember part of the student's name, but you don't remember the full thing. So first of all, let's switch this to look in the last name. And so let's go ahead and look at C4 to C13. And then we're going to go back to an exact match. And so obviously we're not going to find Ethan. So if we change this to more, just make sure that it's working. There it is in position one. But let's say this next student, you remember it starts with KO, but you don't remember how it ends. And so what we can do here is add a wild card. And there you can see it returns row two for that student name. And so this will work for our other student here, Hernandez. And so you could do he, and then it returns the fourth result. All right, so next let's look at the sorted match in a little more detail. So if we go down here and start our match formula, we're gonna use our 750 as our lookup value, and then we're gonna search in this column. And so what we're doing is trying to match this number to a level. And so if we pick one here, we're gonna return one. And so we're assuming here that bronze level is gonna be 500 to 1,000. Now, if we wanted to sort the other way and return silver, then we'd flip this around and do minus one. However, we have to resort our range in descending order. So currently it's an ascending order, the number is going up. But if we sort this to descending order, now this returns three, which we one, two, three, and that returns the silver. And so that's the way to use the sorted match type here. And again, that was one being less than zero exact match and negative one as greater than. And so in this case, again, we're finding that 750 is less than silver. And so it's returning silver. All right, so next, let's look at some other matches here. So let's say we have a code that we enter here, BT-9999. So as you can see in here, we have two very similar ones. So this one's lowercase BT-999 and then uppercase. So if we use a normal match and compare this to our range, and we'll do exact match here, you can see it is not case sensitive and actually returns this one here. And so if you want to differentiate, between cases, we're going to have to switch this up slightly to using exact within our match formula. So let's go ahead and redo this. We'll do match. This time we're gonna do true, because we're going to 
compare this to the results of an exact formula. And so an exact formula, we're actually going to select our range here and then compare it to our value. And then we'll do again, exact match. And now we can see we're returning 10. So now it's returning this row in that range instead of the first one. And so this is the exact match if you need to do case sensitive and you want to match the case exactly. So next, let's look at a different example. Let's say we want to compare each name to a separate list and see if it appears. So we have list one and list two. Let's say we want to compare for each name in list two if it appears in list one. So let's do a match formula. So we'll match Charlotte to list one and see if it appears. However, it returns at NA error, meaning it did not find it. And so that is not a very pretty way of doing this. Let's wrap this in it is NA. And what this does is it returns true if there is an error, meaning there's no match, or if there is a match, it'll return false. And so before we drag this down, let's go ahead and lock our range here so this doesn't shift as we drag it down. And then now as we drag this down, we can see that we have true, false, true, true, false, and so forth. So we can see Kaya does indeed appear there. However, this true, false is not necessarily the most friendly layout or display. And so let's go ahead and change this to show if it shows up in list one or two with some text. And so if we put it if in front of this is an A. And so what we have here is value if true and then value if false. So value is true is that it's not in list one. So we can say not in list one. And then false would mean it is in list one. So in list one. So now we can drag this down and we can see not in list one, in list one, and so forth. And so Ethan and Kaya are both in that list. And you can see that there, Kaya and Ethan. Now let's look at how to use match in VLOOKUP to help when we have various subjects and perhaps we want to use a match to help us with our VLOOKUP. So let's go ahead and do a quick VLOOKUP here. So we have a student name in our selection here. And so we'll look up our student name in this table. And let's just say we're going to return geography. And so now we can do exact match. And we can see that Benjamin has a score in geography of 96 right here. So this works great, but perhaps we want to be able to select rich subject we want to see the score for. And so let's say we want to return astronomy. What we could do is instead of this two, we could use a match formula. And so we pull up our match formula. We want to compare the subject we have selected to our subject above. Now, keep in mind, the lookup starts in the same column where your data is. And so we want to start here. So we return the right column number. And then we want to do exact match. And then we can close that formula. And now we can see Benjamin has a 69 in astronomy. And so if we recycle by this back to geography, we can see that now we can select a subject and return the right column. And then we can also now select a different student. See Maya has a 97 in astronomy, which is correct. There it is. And then we can cycle back to geography and see that she has a 74. Now this match also works really good if you may perhaps be adding a column. So if we inserted a column, this is now still working, but if we had a number in it like this, then Maya in geography, this would have worked before. So if we delete this, you can see now it shows 74, but if we insert a column, it breaks our formula. So that match helps us to not break that formula if perhaps we're adding more columns. All right, so that is it for today for our tutorial on the match function in Microsoft Excel. Make sure to download the Coefficient add-on to help start automating your Microsoft Excel sheets to bring in data from your data sources and the other automation that we offer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.